Hey guys, Eddie here, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Here we are, back at the house. Hello? I'm having second thoughts about whether we should find Sarah or not. So much stuff has gone down that I just can't imagine anything more being any good. You know what? I am so glad we didn't have to remember that. But then again, I don't know why they told us. This is going to come in handy later because we do now know when Rachel's birthday is, which is the 22nd of it's July. April, May, June, July. I need yeah. to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find well, her. Well, can we not leave? No? Because we did find that, um, like, the file. If, if this is the file James master. sure keeps lots of files on people. Yeah, well, he's the DA. Uh, let's use the computer. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Okay, James, is, uh, James, this is enough. When you told me at the park that you were going to let me be a part of Rachel's life, of course I was angry, but I understood you need to protect her. It's your uh, pre... Uh, as a parent but sending me but sending the man to talk sense into me threaten me you're losing the moral high ground here what kind of way is that for a DA to act what would the voters say I have the right to meet my daughter and the, law, uh, and the lawyer I spoke to agrees but more importantly, Rachel has the right to know who her mother is, to know the truth. Do you know, do you know, do what you know is right, Sarah? Well, we could reply to that. Right? In my opinion, you could reply to that. Service award, we check the drawer. Wow, that, that's a real uh, statement. Oh, what, what a graffiti. Oh no. They're gonna know we're here. What did I graffiti? Why did I do that? Secret boost stash. No! <laughs> I'm gonna get in so much shit. More sherry. Can we check that file? Can we close the drawer? Oh man, that's the one thing I wouldn't have done. But this is the locked one. Not gonna be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere. The problem is, where would the key be? So let's look at the service award first. I guess first. getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. James Amber presented to an application of your integrity, honesty, and dedication to the fair of <laughs> Yeah, no, there's no honesty. Okay, I, I, I know I'm sounding a bit mean. It, it, I, it shouldn't be. He's doing the right thing. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Oh, wait, key. Hmm. Put it back up. Found you. Nice! <sighs> Bingo! Luck is on my side. Okay, Drew, you can keep loading the screen. I'm just gonna open the door, dude. Actually, no, I'm gonna read that first because if everything goes missing, then uh, we're not gonna be able to access everything and everything. So here's the text. Okay, um, where's Drew? Drew, here we go. Um, good luck with whatever you're dealing with. Be safe. Hey, Price, thanks again for playing with Mikey. Heart, thanks. It was a good game. Good luck with whatever you're dealing with. Be safe. That's from all of us. Thanks. Mikey says, tell Chloe she can handle anything. Hope so. It's really good that... See, like, these are all Chloe's friends. 
are brand new characters that we never saw within the first game. So I'm slightly sad about that. Because they're all really good people. Welcome to Shadyville. Okay. Oh, it's a box. I mean, let's open it. You have a burner phone, maybe? I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. Okay, it could so we be haven't. About Sarah. Um, I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, hey? Let's talk. We'll call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Can, uh, call you in 15. Well, this isn't a charity. I'm gonna need you to do what we talked about. I can't. So you can, because I've talked to your girl, and she has a big mouth. Turns out, she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands-on. Don't hurt her. Relax. I've got my best guy on it. How's your daughter? You know, she's attacked me first, right? You Oh, this is Damon. So you know she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her how to behave. Nothing. Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. We know who it is. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? You'll pay. Where is Sarah? <sighs> options, options, options. I think what we're going to do is offer that we'll pay. Um, I told you she came at me first. It was self-defense. Besides, pretty sure you still need me. It's simple. Either you do what I want or your little problem becomes a big problem. Um, now, did you take care of the evidence or not? Shit. What do I say? I did. You first. I know you're new, to, uh, new at this, so I'll give you a pass. Don't F with me. Let's see proof of your evidence. Crap, we're not getting anywhere. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. A picture of what? Sarah sent all these letters. James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. To my Rachel, my name is Sarah and I am your biological mother. The first thing you should know about me is that giving you up was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time, something I have been battling ever since. The battle has taken everything from me. Most importantly, you. But now I am in a place where I know I can be part of your life. It is more than I deserve, I know. But I would love to try if you want to. Please take your time. If you have anything to say, any questions, hearing from you would mean the world. I love you very much and I hope to meet you soon. Love, Sarah. Dearest Rachel, I hope it's alright for me to write to you again. I haven't heard from you yet, and that's okay. It really is. I just, I feel like I have... S <coughs> <coughs> I have so much to catch up on, you know. I don't remember much, uh, much of my life. It's a symptom of the choices I made. 
Uh, so much is lost except you. I remember everything about you. The crinkle on your nose, the depth of your eyes, the knowing smile that somehow made it seem like you'd seen it all before. I can call it up whenever I want, as clear as the summer's day. I was so afraid, afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you, that I would screw you up the way I screwed up my, uh, up so much of my life. Now I know, of course, that my fear was wrong. Uh, far worse than being a bad mother is never knowing what kind of mother I could have been. I am sorry. If you can find the courage to forgive me, maybe we can start over. I want to. With all my might, I want to. Love, Sarah. How many letters are in here? Okay. I'm going to read all these because I, I'm, I'm worried that there's going to be information in them that I'm not, that I'm going to need later. Um, beautiful Rachel. I read, I read somewhere, maybe a fortune cookie, that you can never step into the same river twice because after it moves, it's never really the same river anymore. It's something new. Do you think that's true? I try to picture you reading these letters. I wonder what your reactions are, how I might seem to you. This mystery, mother, I don't blame you for not writing back. You will write when you're ready. I imagine your dad is still wary of all this. That's okay. James is protective of you, just as I would be. But the life he warned, wanted to give you, I knew it then, even when he didn't. I knew we could never have the same relationship we should have had, but I hope we can have something new together. I hope it's so much all my love, Sarah. So we were told that she took the money. Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. Exactly. And, and I'm afraid that there's a little more hidden behind Sarah. So, James, I understand you're reluctant to let me speak with Rachel, but don't you think the decision should belong to her? Everything I have done over the past year has been to prove to you that I am ready to be in Rachel's life. I have gone through rehab. I am in recovery and I am no longer in need of money or assistance. I am coming to Arcadia Bay in the hopes that we can at least meet to discuss this. So you can see how much I've changed. If you have any feelings left for me at all, you will give me a fair chance to prove myself to you and hopefully to Rachel too. You were the love of my life once, so please don't let this Please don't take this away from me, Sarah. Cease and dissect. Dear Mr. Amber, I respect Sarah Gearhart, lawful mother of Rachel Amber, and petitioner for practical, of a partial custody of Rachel Amber, her lawful daughter. Please take notice that the origin lawful request current guardians of the minor to respond on good faith to any of all lawful petitions by parents to re-establish contact with their children. On behalf of my client, I hereby demand that you cease and desist from unlawful denying contact between Sarah and Rachel. You are now considered to be on notice that continuing refusal will result in a petition suit field under Origin Family Law Statute 42.4b, Telemont County Family Services. The letter constitutes your final notice. When was this sent? Sincerely, Kevin. Is there a date? There is no official date. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Back. Because he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Yeah, so the 4th of the 25th, 2010. So, I don't even know how many year ago that's going to be, but $3,000 every month. That is a lot of money. Is Can we put this stuff back? 
James sure keeps lots of files on people. Who the hell is Gerald Scott? Okay, let's check out this file. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Can we open? Sheldon. Sheldon, Sheldon Pike. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? I mean, if you've heard the name, can't you just kind of open it? A file. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Maybe the information you need is in there. Check the snow globe. Look how we're just touching everything. I mean, he's the DA. He's going to know he's in <laughs> It's the big one. <laughs> okay, we need to find any more fire. Oh, crime map. Maybe that'll help. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Look. So, Arcadia Bay Police Department. Reporting officer. So, case number 3888, case type assault, reporting of killer, name Damon Merrick, 31. The person described above is charged for the following. Title of offence, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Time, uh, 11.15, no, probably 10. Yeah, so 10.15, date of offence is the 4th of the 12th, 2010. Place of occurrence. After a verbal altercation with the victim, Marish brandished a fire pocketer, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. A 911 call was received at 10.21 p.m. and an officer arrived at the scene at 10.38 p.m. EMT. The victim was taken to the hospital. A bystander who received the remain anonymous name as the assaultant. I wonder if this is what we have to collect. Are we missing anything more? Let's check the drawer. Oh, maybe this is the evidence? It's the gloves, right? This must be what Damon was talking Knew about. Knew it. The gloves. The gloves, Shit. the gums, the casing. Which of these is Damon talking about? It would I have to just be... take a wild guess and see what he says. The gloves. Because the gloves are mentioned in the photo. Everything else was depicted. Okay. Um. What? That's evidence, right? Yeah. And, hang on, I'm waiting. What? The evidence, right? Yeah, and now you're effing destroying it. Why are you so bad at this? I'll get it, get right on that. Sorry. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. The waste bin? There has to be... Okay, whatever. I'm just doing it. That glove lit really... Better not touch that again. You've taken care of it, right? Good. So, since you're just drawing evidence, might as well tell me which of my guys was the snitch. I don't know. Hang on. 
Since you're destroying evidence, you might as well tell me which guy was the snitch. Any leads on who it might be? Sorry, that's your job. Tell me who it is. Or maybe you'd rather deal with your problem yourself. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Okay, so we're gonna check Mum's text message. And then we'll probably end the episode off after that. Uh, planning supper. What time do you think you'll be home? Don't wait for me, sweetheart. We don't get enough family time as it is. Does Rachel want to join us? She's very welcome, Mum. I just can't make it tonight, sorry. Chloe, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, love you. Love you too. <sighs> I feel so... Like, can't we tell Mum anything? I don't know. It's... It's a bit all over the place or whatever else, but we're going to end this episode here, guys. This last, well, this part we're going to end here. These parts are ending, extending a lot over time, but I'm loving it. So we'll see you guys for a next episode, and hopefully we can figure out who the snitch was. See you guys soon.